show something a little bit different on the channel. Um, 1985. It was when um, Vince McMahon sort of took over the territories um, and made WWF the you know the the biggest federation in I'd say in the world. Um, he took over so many, um, but there is a twist. There is not a single roster in the game. Um, but what we're going to do, we're going to simulate um, a few years, um, but see what happens if you know, nobody went anywhere. Would Hulk Hogan be the biggest face in wrestling at that time? Or would The Undertaker be The Undertaker? That sort of thing. Bret Hart, would he have gone to WWF if they didn't buy Stampede Wrestling? Um, all those questions will be answered. So bear with me a moment. Um, I'll simulate a month. And then we can go from there. But let's have a look, shall we? So, so let's simulate to the end of the month. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take. Um, it, it's quite a large database to be playing with. Um, but yeah, I mean, I used to watch wrestling quite often. Um, not so much nowadays, um, but back in the, the 90s. I did go to SummerSlam 1992 at Wembley Arena when um, the British Bulldog beat uh, Bret Hart. So, yeah. So, I've been a few times. I have gone to modern day wrestling. Um, me and my partner went to a Raw taping a few years back in april that was pretty decent um i can't remember what happened really um i know roman rain was 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 being pushed but yeah mod modern day wrestling nowadays and i mean unless triple h changes the way it goes Hopefully, it'd be quite watchable again, but at the moment, it's just, just not watchable. I think what it was, it was there was no uh, competition for Vince. And I suppose if you've got no competition, you ain't got to try hard. But we'll see. We'll see what happens with uh, Triple H's little, little venture. Hopefully, it, it comes better again i mean that attitude era was my favorite era i think that was a lot of people's favorite era when the stone cold become stone cold steve austin um the rock become the the global phenomena that he is today it's going to take a while i think oh no mind you we're on week three so we'll have a look at it. Um, I'll probably just do the American uh, federations. I wasn't really a fan of Japanese wrestling or Mexican wrestling. You know, unless someone big's gone to one of them. But yeah, I was never a fan. I liked luchador wrestling, but only in sort of WCW, where, you know, Eddie Guerrero, Rey Mysterio, they're all quite decent wrestlers. Um, I was watching it when Eddie Guerrero became champion. That was quite a, a big, a big thing. I mean, it was, it was huge. You know, because Vince didn't believe in the, the little guy. And it, it was quite, Quite interesting to see him be pushed. 
It's a shame about, uh, about his death. But yeah, so. I mean, sort of 2003 onwards, but the, <coughs> the 20s are not, not great. I think they got ruined by the PG era. But that's my, my per personal opinion. Well, we're almost there. Almost there. They wonder what happened. Sometimes, you know, if, if Vince didn't do the global territory takeover and stuff like that, or what would really happen? Right, let's have a look. So if we go to the companies and then we will search by area. Let's just do US for now. So all a South Wrestling Association. Michael Hayes is there. Scott Hall's there. Uh, Eddie Gilbert was quite a good wrestler back in the old day. But let's have a look. I mean, they're not making mega money they're uh, 29th in the world and still insignificant um let's look at the titles oh they've got no titles what about let's have a look at their history events uh they haven't got any events show history nothing nothing whatsoever that's a good good start, I suppose. Let's look at All Star Wrestling. That's owned by Jim Barnett. I don't know if that was really owned by Jim Barnett, but it's owned by Jim Barnett. Rocky Johnson, Jim Ross, Cornet, David Samani. David San Martino didn't really live up to his father's name, did he? Uh, some only sort of producers really Ollie Arm Tony Atlas have a look at their titles no titles have they got any show history no show history to, to show tag teams no tag teams uh Stables? Nothing. Oh, it's not a very good start, is it? AWA. Owned by David Crockett. Tito Santana. Hercules. Nikita Kolov. Jimmy Garvin. Barry Windham. Gibson. Yeah, not really. Wow, okay. Titles. I oh, don't got some titles. Jimmy Garvin is the world heavyweight. Uh, so he got it on the Tuesday. He said it was six days. No light heavyweight, no tag teams. Vivian St. John has managed to get the women's title. Let's have a look at their, uh, their show history. The AWA Live, just under 1,500 people. Jimmy Garvin defeating Nikita Koloff for the heavyweight title. Tito Santana. That's quite a decent little show, though. Decent little show. What's their event history? Oh, so they do... So they do, do one every month. Oh. 
Okay. Look at their roster. Barry Windham. Big Bad Mama. Whoever she is. Bobby Ford. I've heard of him. David Crockett. Dick Slater. Hercules. I uh, see the man based gimmick is poor. Need to drop that. Jimmy Garvin. Killer Kowalski. Didn't he train Mankind? McFoley. Nikita Kolov. Oh, all their gimmicks are poor. Poor. Oh, hang on. It's got a grey. Stan Lang. Uh, so, Moolah isn't in the WWF. Well, that'd be quite interesting to see. Tom Zenk. He was meant to be like the next Hulk Hogan in Vince's eyes. That's quite interesting, AWA. Earning a few quid. Mike Graham is the CEO of Central State. So Meng, oh decent. Brutus, Vader, Tully, Ricky Morton also out there. Al Perez, Michael Hayes, One Man Gang, John Nold, is he the Berserker? We'll have a look in a minute. We should have a look in a minute. Jimmy Arts there. Let's have a look at their titles. So they got titles, but no one's got them. Um, no, all vacant. Have they got any show history? Nothing. Events. Uh, that's off air. Any tag teams? No. Okay. On to the next championship wrestling from Florida. Also got Meng, Brutus, Kurt Hennig. It's quite popular. Only 26. The Barbarian, One Man Gang. <coughs> oh, the old, uh, the Red Rooster. Yeah, don't piss off in this book, man. You get red roosted. <coughs> Excuse me. Scott Hall. Cowboy Scott Hall. Brad Armstrong. One of the um, Road Dogs brothers, I think. Fred Armand. He was Typhoon. Typhoon? Yeah. Typhoon, Typhoon. And also the Shockmaster. That didn't play out too well. Let's have a look at their titles. Oh, hang on. So he, Brad Armstrong is the heavyweight. He got that eight days ago. Tag team are vacant. And as is the Southern heavyweight. Any show history? I must have, I must have a show. Oh, in front of 115 people. So. Who would he get a title for that then? Or was he just given a title? Who is it? I don't know. That's strange. Very strange. Unless he got it there. Ah, oh, yeah, look. He got it there. George Weingoff. Oh, decent enough wrestler. 
just not popular. Got a little bit of a lazy eye as well. Okay, decent. Their first show was better than their second show. C C W. Let's have a look. Coco Beware, Ben Garnier, Killer Kowalski, Jimmy Golden. Who are they? Oh, I've heard. Little Farmer Boy. I know. What am I thinking of them? But wow, decent, decent wrestler. Wendell Cooley. Gwendolyn, okay. Mike Rotunda, the old IRS. Kendall Windham, Bray Wyatt's uncle, I think. Let's have a look at the titles. So no title, no title, no winner, winner, winner. Show history, nothing. It's not a, been a good month for no one. For Soya, Coco Beware, Mike Rotunda. I mean, this is when they started sharing stuff, uh, st started sharing the uh, the wrestlers, obviously, and that's when Vince sort of started taking their big stars, so everybody would go to see. To see them. No title changes. Any shows? Nothing. Okay. East Coast Wrestling. Ronnie Garvin. Ricky Morton. Jimmy Valian. Luke Williams. He's a bushwhacker. Is he a bushwhacker? Yeah, the old Bushwhackers. Austin Idol. Stan Lane. They've not made a few quid, so I don't think they've got any shows. Let's have a look at their titles. No, no one. Nobody. So they've had no shows then. No, no shows. Any events? Oh, they've got an event coming up. Oh, next week. Okay. Jim Crockett. See, this is this was the competition for Vince. So Buddy Fuller owns it. Buddy Fuller. Oh, he, he was um, Colonel. Ron, oh no, Ron Fuller. Rob Fuller was um, a Colonel in WCW. So Tito Santana, Rick Rude. Uh, Big John Stad, I didn't go to WWF then. Sergeant Slaughter. Okay. Got some good names there. Where's a uh, old Ricky Flair? Brian Blair. Okay. So they're ranked fifth at the moment. That's it. Have a look at their titles. So no one's got that one. No one's got that one. And nobody has that one. I'm guessing they've not had any shows. No history. I don't know they have. Quite a good rating though. Ronnie Garvin defeated Nikita Kolo. Ronnie Garvin beat Bobby Eaton. Give me two seconds, guys. Right, I'm back. So, where do we get to? Oh, there you go. Let me show history. It's decent enough. No title changes. Mid South Wrestling. Jim Brunzel. Donald, 
Matt Bone. It was it, it was the original Doink, I believe. Decent enough. Vader. Okay, Bill Anderson is a CEO. Okay. Never really heard of him. Let's have a look at title changes. So, Buddy Landell. I'm just Buddy Landell. So, he got that seven days ago. Okay. Luke Williams. Um, Mike George. I don't know. Randy Anderson. He was a referee, wasn't he? Yeah. Referee. Okie doke. PNW. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, they've got the big names. Warrior Animal. Road Warrior Animal. Tully Ratchard. Ted DiBiase. I see the Million Dollar Man in this. It's quite popular. Okay, uh, Perez, Shawn Michaels, <gasps> Vince but mad. Ah, so Vince ain't got WWF. What's Vince doing there? Oh wow. Okay. Okay. That opens a complete. Can of Worms, Rick and Santana, ah, okay, what about their titles, no, 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 any show history, nothing, any events coming up, nothing, so Vince is not the multi-millionaire, Eddie Shark is owning Texas All Star Wrestling. Shawn Michaels is there. Rick Steiner, Jim Ross. The Undertaker, well, Mark Callis. Any titles? No titles. Ten grand. I don't think they've had any shows. No, nothing. Anything coming up? Nothing. I still can't believe that. So Jerry Jarrett is the owner and the booker of World Class Championship. Got a few quid in the bank. They're eighth. Okay. So Vince is also there. Wow. Okay, Chris Adams. He was a British wrestler, wasn't he? Because I think his wife, or his ex, or his ex-wife, um, still lives in uh, Southend. What was her name? She was. She married um, Stone Cold Steve Austin as well. I don't even know. No, I can't think of a no. The no title changes just yet. They must have had shows because they've got 200 grand. So, oh, 92 rating. The Rick Root defeated Ming. Al Madril defeated Matt Bourne for the heavyweight title, but then, ah, oh, the NWA, so that's, um, no, see, it's vacant. Unless it's the, uh, touring title. World Wrestling Alliance.
Rights Association, sorry. Let's have a look at their titles. No title changes, nothing. 24th, so they're not massive. No, nothing. Events, nothing. We haven't had a good start, have we? World Wrestling Council. So the 28th, they've got a few quid in the bank. Titles, nothing, 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 nothing. Okay. Leah Maria. What's that? Uh, Roxlan. Okay. That's what I meant, the, uh, the Alliance title. Show history, no shows. Any events coming up? No events coming up. Take teams, nothing. Wow. It might take a while. So Steve Ricard is the owner of WWF. Who is he? Because he is not popular in any territory other than, oh, well, it's not even popular. He's British, Steve Ricard, I'm a pro, uh, Newton, uh, who's a Kiwi? That's making losses, big time losses. Let's level the titles. So no title, no titles. So Wendy's at it for 16 days, no tag team. So Hulk Hogan did go to, they've got Ric Flair, Savage, Piper, Steamboat, Barry Darso, Greg Valentine, Davy Smith, Jim Nidart, Jake Roberts, Dusty. They should be making fortunes. No Bret Hart. So he's taken David Will Smith, Snyder, but not Bret Hart. Rilla's there, only lads there, Lou Albano, Monster Ripper, who's that? Oh. Medusa. Okay. Let's have a look at their show history. So they're, they're bringing the crowds in. Oh, Kerry Van Eric's there. Kerry Von Eric, Ricky Steamboat, and the Hulk Hogan defeated. Who were the Heartbreak Express? Let's have a look at the title. The little tag teams there. Tag teams. Aggressive tendencies. Mayhem. That'd be quite a good tag team, you know. Heartbreak Express. <laughs> Randy Orton and Bob Orton. The winning combination. Okay. I think what we'll do then. Let's have a look at um, the gimmicks. Very dark so. Dusty Rhodes. It's a blue collar. People's champion is ripping off the rock. Jake Roberts. How did he get a poor 
Patriot is all full. Badass. Carry Von Eric. So you've got a loose cannon. Very good. Ric Flair. Native one is very good. Dragon is adequate. Loose cannon. Armed forces. He's doing quite quite well. Okay. So that was one month. So what we're going to do. We're going to leave it here. I'm going to simulate another month. And then see how that goes. Because that was very interesting. Vincent Mann is not the owner of the WWF. Um, there have been no title changes throughout the board. Um, let's have a look at um, Stampede to see if they're still, still going. And so Les Thatcher is the owner of that. So you've got, uh, still got Owen Hart, still got Bruce. They got where's Brett then? Let's have a look where Brett went. So Brett Hart, oh. where did he go? Oh, he's unemployed. Maybe it's one to watch then. Like I said, I'm going to leave it here. Um, I'll see him another, another month um, and then see where it went from there. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that jazz and I'll see you in the next one.